Okay, hey y'all, it's Sunday afternoon, it's about four o'clock. I just had a client cancel, so I'm gonna have some, I had a little time, and I just wanted to get real with you guys, because I'm just gonna tell you, this has probably been one of the hardest days for me to stick with optimal eating. And, um, you know, I'm asking myself why, because I actually got up today and uh, had some great time in the Word, studying, uh, actually got on the phone with a dear friend and um, talked about some things going on in our lives. And then I got up, Marsha, that was you. Then I got up and got ready. I preached at a men's ministry. There are 55 men in a recovery center. So I drove an hour up there to preach to those guys. And um, but and I and I ate some meatloaf and cauliflower casserole on the way up there. I ate a small portion, and that was about 9:30, which usually I don't eat anything until after lunch. But on my way back, I had this onslaught, onslaught of. Um, let me turn around here so you're not in the sun. It's in my face now. Of go get you, go to the Dairy Queen and get a chili dog and a small kid size hot fudge sundae and you know so the first thought was yeah that'd be good and then the next thought was but that's not on the plan and you're 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 trying to stay healthy be an example and to feel good you know and so drove drove past one dairy queen on the way home got to the other dairy queen same thing just bombarding me with stop and get the chili dog that's that's healthy just don't eat the bun and the tiny little kids ice cream, which is what I used to do every time I drove anywhere by myself. I would stop and get that kid size ice cream. You know what made me mad is they priced them up to like almost $4. It's ridiculous because I only get a small, I tell them don't put all the ice cream, I just want the chocolate. So anyway, drove on into Vidalia and still the same thing. <laughs> Go to that Dairy Queen. So I passed three Dairy Queens. <laughs> And I drove on by, and so I thought, I'm going to go to the grocery store. Because obviously, I, I guess I was hungry, even though I had eaten, and I normally don't eat. So, I went in the grocery store, and I, I didn't buy anything unhealthy. I bought a lot of healthy stuff. Bought some asparagus and some blue cheese dressing. Got in the car. I'm going to post a picture of it, and just was eating on that blue cheese and asparagus. Then I went to another store, and still... In, even in that store, it was Big Lots, you know, they have all kinds of cookies and things in there that I love, you know, to have, especially through the holidays. And I was going to give myself permission to have those, and I didn't. I refrained. But it wasn't easy. I'm just going to tell you, it was probably the hardest it's ever been. And so I want you just to know that as a coach, as a health professional, there are just days that are going to be hard. But what kept me was first of all, I wanted to set an example for you guys, okay, the ones that are in my challenge. I got about 50 people in this challenge. And I wanted to be real to me. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to be healthy. So just know that the enemy's going to come at you from any side and just get outside. I'm out here grounding now. Oh, my gosh, I love walking out here on this grass. Um, enjoying being outside it's so beautiful i told my husband i said it's warm out there he goes i'm not sure it's warm but it is warm it's beautiful so i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon